Welcome back. The Rees trial started today in a case involving a former Richland County Corrections officer who's charged with the death of an inmate. Mark Cooper facing homicide charges after restraining Alexander Rios back in 2019. The first trial ended in a hung jury. Now Rios's family hopes a new jury will find Cooper guilty of those charges. 19 investigator Mike Mason has the very latest. I'm hoping that, that the jury does the right thing. Don Mold wants justice. His stepson, Alex Rios, died four and a half years ago after Richland County Corrections officers restrained him. Mark Cooper was the only officer charged in connection with Rios's death. Now he's on trial once again, facing charges of manslaughter and homicide. I think he needs to pay the consequences for what he did. The incident leading up to Rios's death was all caught on video, and it's disturbing to watch. It happened in September of 2019 at the Richland County Jail. When a corrections officer opened Rios's cell door, he ran. Five corrections officers, including Cooper, then tackled Rios. They pushed his face into the floor, punched him in the head, tased him twice, and at one point, Cooper stood on top of Rios's neck with both feet off the ground, using his full 250 pound weight. Rios turned blue, lost consciousness and died in a hospital days later. Right is right and wrong is wrong. And there's nothing about watching that video that has any justifiable rationality that says this is okay. Cooper's first trial began last October and ended in a hung jury. A special prosecutor was assigned to that case. He's since been replaced by prosecutors with the Ohio Attorney General's office. Mold hopes they present evidence that Cooper's actions were not only against policy, but illegal. Wish that we could utilize all the information that's available and, and take it to the maximum, because I don't believe that that's been done. Now the Ohio Attorney General's office hopes by prosecuting Cooper, it can also bring closure to Rios's family. And if it was your son, where would you want to be? What would you want, what would you want the jury to do? Cooper retained the same attorney he had in the first trial, and that attorney argued that since Rios's behavior was so erratic, that Cooper's use of force was justified. We'll of course let you know how this one turns out. I'm Mike Mason, 19 News.